kids and adults, it's Owen and Shannon, which means it's probably craft time, and that would be true. We are going to do crafts, but today we're going to do something a little special. So I'm going to reverse the camera here and show you. These are pictures that Lisa put up for us last week after we did our coffee uh, filter project and said, hey, if you want to do projects with coffee filters, why don't you try this one? So it got me thinking about hot air balloon crafts. And so we are going to do um, kind of like what she did. So I've made my hot air balloon ready coffee pot, coffee filter. All you need to do that is like we did last week. So you're going to take a coffee filter, any of these, and there's a couple ways you can do this. Last week I showed you how to do this with markers. You put the marker down and you put some water around, or you can watercolor these things um, and let them dry out, or you can even take uh, food coloring and put them onto the coffee filter. And they have this really kind of neat, already hot air balloon form. Now on Lisa's, as you saw, there was a, like a picture that she drew around it. Um, and that's awesome. And if you want to do that, um, you can totally do that. I'll show you here again what hers look like. Um, they're so fun and creative. Uh, this one's got music all around it. This one shows other little hot air balloons. This one shows like a village. Um, so there's some really fun things you can do with the different types of uh, coffee pot hot air balloons. Um, but what I want to show you today is to make an option of another type of one. And so to make it a little easier for people, I actually have linked on there a place where you can get a template. Now a template, kids, is something that's already kind of pre-printed. And adults, you can get this. This is free. It's on the site that I posted online already on the church. Um, and it looks like this. So what we would do is color this, and if you want to take your coffee a filter, um, I'm going to show you how you can put this onto this um, and make it kind of cool. So I'm going to put you down for a second um, so that I can do that. There we go. All right, so I've got my coffee filter, and it's not going to fit exactly in there. So I'm going to need to chop it down a little bit, which is all right, because this one has a very distinctive color, kind of. So I'm going to take off the extra stuff that isn't as pretty. And we're gonna just bring this to size. And okay, it's still a little big, so I've gotta chop down a little bit more um, in the shape of a circle. Now, circles are hard to get the shape of, so don't worry if you don't get it perfectly, that's okay. You're gonna just put it right over there anyways, and nobody will know that it's not a perfect circle. If you are using kid scissors and adults, if you're doing this, it's the same thing. Nobody's gonna know, there you go. So, I've got my hot air balloon with the coffee pot. I could glue that down um, and then color all around it. Like maybe, oh, let's see, magic. Ooh, colored already. Now look how cool that looks. Um, and like Lisa showed, that was with a coffee filter um, using colors. Um, she used watercolors, but again, you can use uh, food coloring um, that you put it with a little water and kind of dip the coffee filters in and let them dry. Or you can use markers like I did last week where you put a marker and then you wet it and let it dry. So that's a really neat other thing you can do with coffee filters. Now you're probably wondering, Pastor Shannon, what's the point of a hot air balloon in relation to God? So we're going to learn a new scripture today. And it's right here for you. John 3, 8. And it says, the wind blows. So let's try that, everybody. <sighs> Now, if I were to blow the wind here on this, watch what happens. Oh, before you didn't see anything, did you? But if I go like this, we saw how the wind blows. Well, the wind blows where it wishes and you hear its sound, but you do not know where it comes from or where it goes. So it is with everyone who is born of the spirit. All right, and that is right out of the Bible, out of John 3, 8. And it's reminding us that we can't see the Spirit, but we can hear it sometimes by the wind. When it goes through trees, it gushes whoosh, 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 with storms. You can't see it, but you can use your ear or you can use your eye as you see things moving in the wind. And that's the same way of the Holy Spirit. And that what's the Holy Spirit? Well, we believe there are three parts to God. God, Jesus, and the Holy Spirit. God is the one who created everything. 
created the earth, who created you, who created me. God creates things and God maintains them and takes care of them because God loves us. And there's Jesus. Well, Jesus helps us. So when we do things that aren't right, Jesus gives us a model and he also saves us so that nothing we do wrong is ever going to keep us from God. And then you've got the Holy Spirit. And we sometimes call it the a dove or wind or water. We talk about the elements, things that are harder to sometimes put a word on. But the Spirit inspires us to do stuff. So just like the air can move a hot air balloon through the sky, so can the Holy Spirit move us to be better people. Now, what else can we do with this? So I'm going to show you a couple things with this that I want to teach you a type of, if you notice on the blue, so you're thinking, Pastor Shannon, you just colored that blue, but it was a bunch of empty space. Now, what I want to show you kind of fun that you might not learn is that sometimes when you're coloring, what you have below it will give you a different design. If you look close, you see how the blue, I think you see the blue, there it is. You see how the blue has lines under it? I didn't put those in there. What I did was I took these. These things are so much fun. Um, these are colored pencils, erasable, so you can use the eraser and take it off. So if you make a mistake with the colored pencils, nobody's going to know because they have an eraser on them. And so we're going to take that template. And I'm going to show you how I got that fun. We're going to use this in the back. And if you just go over with the blue, you're not just going to get blue. You're going to get, look, blue with those lines. And all this is is a priority mailbox from the Postal Service, and it's totally free. But you can do, oh, and I know that excites you, doesn't it? It is. It's exciting. You can put other things under it, too. You can put all kinds of different stuff under what you're coloring on, and you're going to find all kinds of different designs. Okay? So once you've created your balloon, if you decide you want to try something different, instead of the coffee filter, we're going to make another option. So we've left this blank. So go ahead and fill all the color on this one, and we'll try another way. So if we had finished it with this, it would have been awesome. We're going to do one other option. We're going to take our hot air balloon minus the middle because that's going to be covered over. What you're going to do is take some colored paper and it doesn't matter what color. All the colors are beautiful. So take whatever colors you want to make your hot air balloon. I'm going to use some really bright ones and you're going to cut them. Now there's not really an exact number for cutting. There could be, but really what you're going to try to do is get it long enough that you can have it over the length because you're going to fold the edges, okay? So you want to make sure if I tuck this down and I tuck this side down, it's going to still be able to come up a little bit like that. And why are we going to do that? Because we are going to take some glue and we're going to put a little glue on each side that we fold it in. So I've just folded these edges. See, I've cut it, cut a piece of colored paper ahead of time. And again, it doesn't really matter exactly the size. You're Everyone's going to be awesome. As long as you've got enough that you can fold these edges because I'm going to put them down now on the paper. And I'm going to put it to right where the black edge is. And then I'm going to put it right to this black edge. Sorry about that, Owen. Okay. Now fold those in and you see how it's starting to stick up, right? Okay. Now we got a little bit of it already coming up. Now we're going to keep doing that. Um, we're going to keep doing that. And you're going to have to bear with me a minute. Owen's adding entertainment value for you while I'm doing this. He's, he's telling you there's a storm outside. He hears the rumble, the wind rumble. All right. He's going to tell everybody throughout the whole house. All right. Now I want to show you something here. I didn't do the same type of cut. That one's thicker, right? Ooh, we'll make sure it really sticks down there. And that's okay too, right? But look what I did. I put one down one way and one another way. Now I'm going to get another one cut. And I'm going to put it, tuck its edges in, okay? And I'm going to glue down those edges. Okay. How is everybody today? Would you like to be in a hot air balloon? If you were using your imagination, where would you be going in your hot air balloon? Would you be flying over rainforest so you could see all the animals? Or would you be flying over the ocean? Or would you be flying over Disney World? Where would you go in your hot air balloon? I might go over an island. That would be fun to see the palm trees today. All right, and you see, oh, we're starting to get some kind of cool shape to it. We're gonna keep doing that. Um, 
and I've got some pre-cut because this would take a long time if I hadn't cut them out ahead of time. So I'm going to tuck these edges in. I'm going to tuck that extra long on that one. All right. Okay. Whoop. Sometimes your glue can stick. All right. Now, when we talk about the Holy Spirit as air, what we're saying is that it's all around us. We don't see it, but we know it's there, just like we know the air is. And we know that God is with us at all times. Even when we don't always see God, God's right there with us, holding up our balloons. Ooh, now it's really starting to look how cool that's getting. Okay, and look, ooh, it's very 3D. This is a really neat project because all of a sudden you got it very 3D. Now, how am I doing that, you're wondering? Well, again, I'm just taking a piece of construction paper. I'm just kind of cutting it. All right, tucking in these edges. All right. And you don't really have to even have that template. You can do this on your own. Um, you can make the, any kind of hot air balloon you want to make. You can put it over anything you want to put it over. So if you want to draw uh, your house under and put this hot air balloon over it, that's totally all right. All right. Okay, got some glue on that one. And you also get to decide when it's done. Maybe you say you don't want to fill in every white spot, or maybe you do want to fill in every white spot. Um, let's see. I might put just one more, maybe, because I think it's already coming out pretty cool. See, I might throw one more across the top and then call it done. All right, maybe another blue one. We started with that one, and we'll finish with it. All right. You know what? Actually, I had a blue one. Let's do that. Okay. Nice little, little blue one. Now, if you had a real hot air balloon, you'd have to make sure there were no holes in it. But you can decide how you want yours to look. If you want to fill in every spot on it, or if you want to have a little extra room. Okay, so I'm going to just tuck this blue one in. It gets a little tricky when you get more, though, because then you got to try to filter them in, too. So, just know that. But that's part of the fun, too. All right. Okay. Look at that. That looks so much fun. And now we kind of see how the Holy Spirit is pushing out the air just like God fills us up. And I kind of like it. It's got almost a little cross shape a little bit, depending on which way you're looking, right? So we think about how God lights up our balloon and carries it into the sky with the air that makes it fly. Because that's the fun thing. What does air do in a hot air balloon? Well, it sends it up into the air sky and that's how God's love does with us when we get God's love inside us when we get that Holy Spirit inside us we just like can fly into the air in a way not actually fly don't try that but in a sense when we care about somebody and we share that love and we show that love we're making the world a better place and people are seeing God above seeing it through us so think about that you're part of that balloon and hi gang um oh Crystal says she'd like to be flying over South Korea. I know. When it gets better, you're going to be flying to South Korea, right? But um, at this point, I want you to think about where would you want to be going um, and see what places you'd want to see. So, friends, this is your craft for today, and the message is let God blow up your balloon. Let that Holy Spirit enliven you so much. Let that air right into you to make you a better person, to try to be... Um, filled with the spirit of God so that everybody around sees you just so happy and so full of life. So that's the message, friends. Have a great week.